Hey, this is Andy. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to um, install continuous ink system for Epson Workforce 3540 and also is applied to uh, Workforce 3520. Open the lid and the cartridge holder will move to this location so we can install the cartridges. Uh, before, actually, before you install the continuous ink system, um, I strongly recommend you prime the system, prime the cartridge first before you install it. Um, the, the idea is we need to remove the air bubble from the tube and from the cartridge. There's another video to show you how to do it. Um, please go to our website, uh, www.ingxpro.com. You go to knowledge base, then you go to how to. There's a video to show you how to prime the continuous ink system. Um, this system has been primed. Um, I'm going to install it directly. Push the cartridge all the way down until you hear the click sound and make sure the, the cartridge is locked with the cartridge holder. By the way, there's a, there's a battery here. This battery, uh, make sure the battery is being installed and the positive normally going going to the bottom, and there's a cross sign for the positive, uh, and a, and a minus sign for the negative. So the battery this sign is the positive. And this side is the negative. So the negative is going to have the minus. Install the battery like this. Then you place it into the into the cartridge holder. I'm sorry, into the into the bracket of the cartridge. Now we can close we for this model, you don't need to remove the cover, the lead, the cartridge lead. But you need to push the push it here a little bit. So when you close the cartridge, when you close the cartridge lead and the tubing is coming out from the side of the cartridge holder. I think this is just enough space for the tubing to come out. So make sure that not, do not pinch the, the tubing. So you push the cover a little bit. Push, I'm sorry, push the uh, side shell a little bit. Then you close the lid. Also make the tubing, make the tubes going down a little bit. And you can see after you install the tubing, there's a, there's a gap over here because the tubes need to come out from the holder. Now I'm going to set up the tubing here. We're going to use the double side uh, clear tape. It's double sides. Uh, we need a strong, actually we need a strong tape. This one is good enough. The single side tape is not strong enough, so we recommend, we highly recommend the double side, double side tape. Okay, we need to unplug the power of the printer, so we can move the cartridge holder free. You can do this. 
Okay, there's no powers. Do not turn it off. Just unplug it. Unplug the power cord. And now we need to set up the tubes. Doing like this. Push the move the cartridge all the way to the left. So let the two make a U-turn. I'm going to move the video recorder a little bit closer so you can take a look at it. Move the cartridge holder all the way to the left. So the tube come out of the cartridge holder then go into the back of the cartridge holder, make a U-turn uh, back to the system. Okay, we need the double side tape. To attach the tube in the middle of the printer here. This is what we're going to do. Also the two need to we need to fold we need to fold the the tape like this. Okay, we fold the, the tape like this, then attach on the side of the printer here. So mix. Now we use another tape. You know I have the I have some kind of sticky tape here. I just need to attach the tape like this. Now I'm going to move the little bit closer, move the video a little bit closer to the Now you can see the the tube, the cartridge hold all the way down to the left side. So just the tubing just long enough to make the U-turn. You shouldn't be short and longer than this. If it's too short and when the cartridge is moving, it will stretch the, the tube and give you the screaming sound. And if it's too long, it will cause the, uh, the paper jam, the paper jam problem. Actually, give you the paper jam error because the tubing is jammed up here. Okay, now we move the cartridge hold all the way to the right. So you can see these tubings make a perfect U-turn. Also, push this here, push this the tubing here, go down a little bit. So the, the tubing is, is going down to the, go to the inside, the printer, not popping up. So I have to go, go down. So when it's moving, it's like this. One more time. All right. 
This is how we set up the tubes. Uh, in this way, we can close the scanner completely, like this. All right, back. All right. Uh, Normally we, we place the ink bottle on the side of the printer uh, for this printer because it's 3540 which has a double paper tree and the printer head is higher than the, the standard printers. Um, so we place the, the ink bottle on the 3 inch box to increase the ink level a little bit. That will provide a bad, much better ink flow to the cartridge. And this one, you cannot place the bottle uh, above the printer or above the, any level above the, the cartridge. This level is not good. So normally it's lower than the, uh, a little bit lower than the printer head. Okay, now we're going to um, open the air vents. Before you open the air vents, here's the air vents, all four small plugs. And this is for the refill. Before you open the air vents, um, we want to make sure the, the ink is moved to the front chamber. Because sometimes if the, all the ink on the back chamber, and if you open the air vents, the, the, the air pressure inside the tank will push the ink out of the uh, out of the tank so it will cause a lot of leaking and the ink that coming out and before we so before we do that we just move the move the ink to the front chamber this is what we need to do flip over the tank like this then put it back and you can see most of the ink is go to the front chamber and the back chamber, uh, there's a lot of air there. So when you open the air vents, only coming out, if the pressure inside the tank, only the air coming out, not the ink. This is very important. Because you don't want to get a lot of leaking here. Um, for X Pro series, you don't need to install the air filters. Just leave the air vents open and then close the case cover. Okay, now we just use this uh, screwdriver to touch the sensor. Yes. Okay, it's give me some message it says replace in cartridge and close the e scanner unit. This is what we need to do. Open the lid. There's a reset button here. There's a tiny reset button. That's for the cartridge reset. We need to squeeze the button for three seconds. One, two, three. All right, release it. Now we close the scanner unit one more time. I'm sorry, we close the, now we close the, the lead one more time. And touch this sensor. Now I'll give the uh, the message is called preparing the ink system. Please wait. If you first time install the um, the cartridge, um, this initialization probably will take about five minutes.
and now shows in cartridge replacement complete. Let's get back to the the home page. We're gonna do a test in it. Copy, color copy. Okay, don't close the don't close the lid. Um, the the first time you print, you always touch the sensor here to tell you the printer close, because we want to make sure the tubing it is being set up properly. The tube has to be make a U turn, and it, when the cartridge moving back and forth, and it should be no blocking and. Just we, we have to make sure we're comfortable with the with the cartridge moving back and forth. And otherwise it will give you some kind of error, paper jam, and a lot of errors will give you. Um, right now it seems okay. Now we can, I can close the close the lead. We're doing one more test. Everything seems okay. Uh, how to refill? Uh, how to refill the tank? You just need to open the the cover of the ink bottle. Then this is for the refill. This plug for the refill. If you see if you see the uh, the ink go ink level going down to the like a, a quarter of an inch, I think you know so, uh, just one inch only one inch um, ink left. You need to refill the tank. Um, you op just open this uh, this plug and use squeeze the bottle, squeeze the ink into the into the tank. Cartridge reset. Mm. This this printer will keep give you the the ink level. It will display if you want to check the ink level. Going back to here, you give check the ink level. You will see all the ink level here. The keep the ink levels. It will keep going down until it's reach empty. Uh, when when the ink level shows empty, the cartridge will give you the message say cartridge not being recognized, and also display the, the color for that cartridge on the screen. And uh, what you do is you open the lid, and the cartridge move will move to the location um, where you can replace the cartridge. You open the the cartridge uh, cover. You squeeze the reset button here, this button here, and you squeeze it for three seconds. Then close the lid again. Make sure the tubing is not pinched when you close. Then you close the the top lid. You will do this. Will um, 
this process will reset in cartridges back to full again, only for that specific color. All right, this is what 